got that. Hey, Rockstar, I could always use a sponsorship. I'm probably a huge part of the reason why your sales are so high. What's up guys? This is Cody, the improper engineer again. And I am currently in Virginia and it's cold. I miss Florida. Why? I should have went to Florida, not Virginia. But anyways, I'm here and a friend is letting me stay in their basement while I visit. Um, and of course, as I'm sure you can probably hear, there's a Prusa going. Imagine that. So this is going to be a quick video. I just wanted to go over something that I think everybody that 3D prints should do. You get your filament and you start printing and you're like, oh, this is fantastic filament. And then half an hour later, it starts kind of clogging up. And then next thing you know, you have a clog going on your printer. Now, I will be completely honest. I've only had one clog on my Prusa. And the reason that it clogged is because I was using some old cheap filament. It actually snapped when it was down inside the hot end. And I didn't know that. So... I ended up having to take everything apart, the whole extruder apart, to actually get it out and clean it. It's the only clog I've ever had, and, well, maybe I should knock on wood after saying that. I would like to tell you why I think I have not had any real clogs. This thing. So this is a piece of a sponge. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen filament cleaners that people are making to go on top of their hot end. So every time I decide that I should probably print just a holder for this, I'm already printing something else or I'm thinking to myself well really I should probably be printing something a little bit more important because what I've been using works just fine so all I did is I took a little square piece of sponge cut a slit down the middle and then while I'm printing it just sits there just like that and what this does is it grabs the dust or hair anything else that may be on the filament it's going to wipe it off so you can print clean so if you're in a dirty environment there's no reason you shouldn't be printing with that one anyways. And even if I'm in a clean environment, I'm still printing with my piece of a sponge. And some of you may be thinking, well, you know, I don't really need it. All my filament's new. There's, it's not gonna be dirty. Well, let me show you a picture. Well, let me show you a picture that I took of my brand new eSun filament, PETG, which is currently being printed. I just want to add this in as well, that it's, I'm not trying to single out eSun because I've heard fantastic things about their filament. Uh, once I was able to get it printing properly, I love it. It's fantastic. It could really be any filament. Um, and it's not just out of a brand new package. If you have some filament sitting around, it's gonna collect dust and it's gonna collect dirt. That's, that's just what happens. It's just part of it. eSun just happens to be what I was printing at the time. Um, so if you look at the picture on the screen, hopefully you can see some, some spots on the filament. I don't really know what they are, but this filament is brand new. I just opened it up. In fact, almost all of my filament, with the exception of two rolls, have all been brand new that I've printed on. I guess everybody's stuff is brand new. So with that being said, I wanted to make sure that everything was still clean. So even on brand new rolls, I'm still printing with this. So brand new sponge, well before this it was brand new, it had never been used, and you can still see some, you can see some color changing there from some of the dirt it's picked up. If we open it up, you can clearly see where the filament goes down. You can see some pieces in hair as well, you got your dirt. I personally don't grease my sponge, my piece of sponge, my filament cleaner, whatever you want to call it. I don't grease mine, not in the Prusa. In my old Wanho I did, I did not notice any difference in print. I did not notice any difference in adhesion. Because uh, I saw a YouTube video the other day and I can't remember who it was. But he was, he was saying how it was bad to use oil. Well, from my personal experience, I haven't noticed any difference whatsoever. No, not good, not bad, so. Um, anyways, the point is that my sponge is completely dry and it just sits there. And because of the way it sits on there, it stays perfectly fine. So yeah, no issues there whatsoever. So that is one of my tips that I think every 3D printer as a person should be using. Um, it's cheap. I think you can buy like a pack of three sponges for what, a couple dollars? And you just cut it up and stick it on there. 
Or you can print a fancy sponge holder, which is obviously gonna work out much better than, well, it'll look much better than what this is, but this works just fine. It's going to make your prints be a little bit cleaner. It's gonna keep your extruder cleaner, which means less clogs. And it's a conversation piece. I say, what is this sponge on top of your printer for? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. What it does is it keeps all the dirt and the hair out of my printer just so my print to come out just nice and fine so far. I'm telling you the truth, it does. So ladies and gents, just remember, clean filament and non-clogged extruders leaves for a happy printer. So that's my quick tip for the day, guys. I hope you can use the information to better your prints. And got any other tips? Let me know. I, uh, I need to go write an email to Rockstar about sponsorships, so see you guys.